everybody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. Well, today we're uh, working on the tandem scooter again. Simple as that. We're trying to get this thing running, baby. But, yeah, nice guy, nice guy. Lay her down. I've been thinking, dude, like, it might be easier if we do weld them solid. If we didn't have this motor here, we can do a tube straight to there, straight to there. But this is all with coming, because if this doesn't work, that's always a, a second try, you know? We're going to try this way first, which the pivotal, like, rear scooter, like, it's like a trailer, if anything, and it kind of, like, turns with it. It just might look funny, look like a train. Um, but we're gonna try that first. If that doesn't work, dude, all we do is go back to the drawing board. Throw a couple bars in there, throw a couple welds in there. Try something else. You know what I'm saying? So we're missing the gas tank. Put the gas tank in, some wiring. La da da da. We'll hook up the electric starter since the kickstarter is like junk on this one. Yeah, it just sounds crucial. Yeah. So some of, we'll have to go through some of the wiring. See what's the deal with that. But the goal is to hopefully get this thing started today. You got anything to say? We got some bad news for the boys though today. I don't know how to break this one to them. Bus broke. We don't know what's wrong with it. We're not diesel mechanics. I think it's injectors. Possibly injectors. It's injectors. If anyone knows about 7.3 power strokes, this thing. We actually would want a comment mechanic right now. When you first start it, it seems fine. And like if I let it sit all night, it seems fine. And then right when I start going, about 15 minutes into the drive, it starts to blow white smoke. And it seems more like diesel fuel is not burning. That was literally like 30 minutes ago we found and this out. So we're still no looking into it right like, now. I drove it to work today, no problem. We can't have the bus down. Our main so, thing right now to, look at all the stuff we've been able to do in the last month because of the bus. Like just picking up all this, the dirt so bikes, all that. Swipe up. Yo. Yeah. So look at you got my boy stressed out. It's just sad to watch. All right, well, we're gonna get this tandem scooter up and going. Yo, know, the house looks so empty without the bus. It feels weird. <whistles> Sexy beast right here, man. Every time. Gets me every time. Come on, bro, hurry up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we're good. Terrifying. All right, so we just looked through this and I think we just came up with a different game plan after going through the scooter harness that we got from Ray The whole harness is pretty much destroyed. Um, there's a lot of stuff going to the motor. That's just like here's actually the spark plug wire um, But the motor itself should be sound in it. So Knowing that his is all messed up We gotta run wires and actually figure out what's the problem then figure out how to get the electrical start working la da 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 we figured it might be easier to take his scooter that we used in the garden hose video that has the blown out block in it, drop this motor, put it right into his since it's already hooked up for a 150GY6 with the harness, which will start right away. Then we're thinking drop this frame from, from these forks and slide his with the running motor right onto here and then just have this one with no motor, nothing like that, weld them solid and have a real tandem. So the motor will be in the back, it'll be real tandem, no pivot point, no mid motor, um, 150 in the back. I think that's going to be the easiest rather than trying to figure out the wiring on this then see if the pivot point works which will probably feel weird. I feel like I'm feeling because my camera always overheats when I'm in the garage. But let's, get, let's get it off of me dude. There we go. I forgot this one still had the motor in it. Way heavier than I thought. Yo, this one's sick though. See you really? I was trying, I was going to think about this but... Alright dude, we're scrapping this. This whole moped is toast now. The bad motor and we decided not to use this frame so... What? We got another one in the graveyard over here. Doesn't that thing start up? Yo! The thing's always dead. Torqued up, dude. Torqued up. What fell off? Good old cord. Probably not important. Dude, you're getting gnarly out there on the track. I was just getting warmed up. This thing's actually beast. Yeah, this thing's clean bean, I'm not gonna lie. Dude. Alright, let's get her on there. Alright, motor's ready to drop. Just got that shock bolt loose, got the motor mount bolt loose. It's gotta unplug everything from the whole harness. Dude, what has he got going on? That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, he has, Ray has the craziest harness I've ever seen. Not anybody did 150 swap. Yo, I hit, yo! 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 Wait till right now. 
you know, at the end it like wouldn't go and it shot back in and it came back out. Yeah, I'm good grip. Ready? We can pull this whole harness off this pad now since we're not going to use it. So now we got to drop that motor. Damn it. Alright, we're going to try to do this quickly. I'm going to completely strip this one down and get it ready. Daniel's going to work on getting his plastics off and get to the point where we're ready to drop that motor. So, once we do that, put this motor in there, weld them together, put a couple supports. It should be running right away. So, let's see. Both mopeds, motors are dropped out and we're ready to start swiftly swap and put this motor in there and get it ready to go. So we put the 115 here, we just got finished plugging some stuff in, get that started up. But now we're looking at it without the middle wheel in and seeing how it looks. So we're going to plan on actually welding it solid, uh, welding some supports across and doing the tandem that way. So it's going to be like a real tandem bike, like all the, basically the driver, which would be the hub on a bike, like a is in the back like bike. the motor is and bada bing bada boom, we got the real tandem going. What do you think of the new one? I'm, th I'm thinking this was our best bet to go this direction. We probably should have done this to begin with. But, um, so we took, I mean, we took one step forward. We had it more complete last time. And then we took three steps back. But ultimately, I think this is going to be the best option. So it looks way more gnarly, I feel like, like this too. Like having that giant, just nothing in the middle looks gnarly. Yeah, no, now that he says it's going to be gnarly, it's got me thinking about all the possibilities we have when we build this thing. <laughs> what the hell? Here's a better look at what she's going to look like. The back is literally ready to go. Like we just got to throw some wires on, but the front we're just going to wrap in some plastics. And she'll look pretty beast once she's wrapped up. You plan on letting these hit the market around 2020. What do you say? Sell price is like 1400 a pair? Well, yeah, it's going to be pretty much the price of two Tao Tao's. This thing's a whole custom build. We got that, we got that Tao Tao up front with the, the riot shield on here with the mop boys. Throw it on there. Really? Oh, yeah, this thing's going to wheelie for days. Like from the back? And then we got it welded to the front half of a Tao Tao, a brand new one, so like a 2018 Tao Tao, and then the rear half's an Elite, a Honda Elite. So this thing's a full custom rig you got going here, brother. You're gonna need a CDL to ride this thing on the streets. I know I said in the last video that we're gonna have the next video running, but I, think, I feel like that was me jinxing myself. We fully restarted, so let's just pretend the first video never happened. This is the, this is the better idea of building the head. So basically tomorrow the plan is we're gonna get this thing running, like I said last time, and uh, we're going to weld from here to here, do some supports, mounting this frame up. But I think it looks way cooler without the mid-engine. mid, mid -engine. I'm not going to lie, dude. No way, bro. There it is. There it is. That, there it is. Here it is. Put this on eBay. The famous hose exhaust, dude. So restart at the Tandem scooter. I think this one's going to turn out way more gnarly, so. We're going to head start on it. You'll, you'll see progress. You'll see progress tomorrow. I know. We went backwards a little bit, but she'll be running prime. Now with this laid out and everything like that, we already know that this one's plug and play. This one has the exhaust bolts up. We're going to put, put the exhaust right on. She'll be ready. It looks really sick with the front end on. Like That makes the whole look. And when the seat's actually on, it's going to fill it like right to that mark. It's going to look crazy, dude. Seeing it with the somewhat like half-built scooter on the back, you realize like how funky this thing's actually going to look. Ready for the show? Oh, ooh, boys. Leave a like for your boys. We're hitting a restart on the scooter. Drop some money to the GoFundMe for the bus. Oh, dude, I forgot about the broken bus. Buy my boy sticker. Check the description on how to do that. The hose exhaust video. Uh, we said if it gets 2,000 likes, we're going to motor swap her moped, the girl who rolled up on us. I don't even remember her name. I don't know. I got, she gave me her phone number, and I've been texting her, and she hasn't responded. I sent her the video and let her know like it got 2,000 likes, and we want to swap her scooter. She hasn't responded yet, so if she doesn't respond soon, um, we're still going to pay it forward. We have another idea on how we're going to do that, but it's still going to involve a scooter, and I think it's going to be even cooler. She, too bad she hasn't hit us back up yet, but she said she was going to roll through here, and she never did. So. Maybe she just didn't really like us, bro. Maybe she didn't think we were that cool. She was definitely better at mopedding. Yeah, for real. This thing got some suspension. This thing got some suspension. All right, bro. Let's, let's call it a day. Check the description how to get a Mop Boy sticker. Tandem scooter coming soon. Wheelies, Max Wheelies, Moped Scooter, Dirt Bike 5.